welcome welcome everybody to a new future revolution <laughs> video uh i said my hero like three times before i got it right <laughs> um welcome welcome everybody to a new uh, future revolution uh video and uh, guys i just wanted to uh hop into this game show you a little bit of uh, about it like it looks so slick it looks so cool so amazing i love it so much it looks so good <laughs> i am definitely going to try and cover this game um you know uh alongside my hero for now at least uh, alongside my hero uh I, well i don't know depends really depends on how you guys receive it honestly uh but i really hope that you guys like it because this game looks so pretty it's so beautiful it's it's so detailed it's it's amazing guys look at this it looks so amazing i can fly guys i can fly in a game in a mobile game i can fly what the hell <laughs> it is amazing 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 i love it so much so uh i wanted to just go through some of the main menus with you guys you know just check it check it uh, a little bit check it uh, the, the stuff that it offers and maybe do a little bit of gameplay as you can see I chose Doctor Strange there are eight characters that you can play with um, but uh, you know you just have to choose one in order to you know like one to play with and uh, apparently I think that every single character has their own story uh, well not their own story but probably their, just their own introduction you know because I played a whole set of missions with Doctor Strange that were or at least very much felt specifically designed for Doctor Strange, right? Like, um, like I even fought a villain that, you know, Mordo, that, that, that is a Doctor Strange villain. And uh, yeah, like it, it seemed like all the, the, the cinematics and stuff all seemed very like focused on Doctor Strange. So it seems like at least the introduction is focused on the specific hero that you choose, the specific, yeah, hero that you choose. And... Um, so yeah, that, that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. But you can see how pretty this game is. I love it so much. It, it looks so good. It's so slick. The gameplay, I don't like, I'm not, I honestly, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I like the, um, the fighting more in my hero, for sure. I definitely like the fighting more in my hero. I feel like this one is a little too conservative with uh, the flashy stuff. You know, like the powers and stuff, they don't look that, that impressive. You know, they're not that, um... Uh, they don't chop, jump out the screen as much as they do in my hero but it might just be that uh it might just be that um that uh, uh you know i'm just getting started <laughs> um so maybe once i improve my uh my hero's powers and stuff it'll, it'll look more more flashy um but yeah let's just jump uh let's just go through some of the menus so that i can show you guys um so uh this this is a little bit weird because i just i just got my login but apparently you got a few logins depending on how long you stay in the game I, it seems like um i don't know it's it's kind of weird it looks like it or maybe you just have to log out and then log in again every a certain set amount of time i don't know because i already claimed this one before like like five minutes before i started uh doing the video or well maybe 10 minutes before i started doing the video but yeah uh, so there's a login event then we have this stuff defeat uh, this is just like missions and then they just give you stuff right uh cards apparently this gives you a uh, four star cards cards work a little bit like in my hero i'll show you in a bit these are more missions fury secret missions oh okay apparently i completed one pretty sure this uh what is this increases attack okay uh, um, not not sure how to use it yet. Um, then we have a hero level up event. It's all pretty standard for gachas, honestly. A squad rank up event. Uh, pretty pretty standard stuff. The squad stuff. I'm not sure how it works, but at the very start in the tutorial, they did allow me to choose. I think it was four or five heroes out of the eight that are available to like take them into my squad. So um, yeah, I took I took I think I took Spider Man, Iron Man, uh, Captain Marvel and Doctor Strange and I think Captain America too. Uh, so, but I haven't been able to use them then, but I barely, I barely just started playing. I barely just, just got off the tutorial, so. Um, yeah, Baby Groot support. Uh, apparently this just give you, this one gives you uh, customs and this one gives you cards. So it's just probably like a little bit of everything. Um, 
Rugger check-in gift. Uh, so I think this is the da the actual daily login must be. Uh, and then we have monthly check-in reward, another uh, daily login, I suppose. Um, not sure, but yeah. Anyways, um, that's pretty awesome. Then we have the shop. For those of you that are interested, yes, there are micro transactions. Though, although it seems like it seems like the heroes themselves, they will be available for everybody. Uh, uh, that's what I've heard. That's a word on the street. That um, heroes themselves will be will be available for everyone. Um, so basically like if they release i don't know hulk tomorrow you will be able to play him because the actual collectibles you know that the actual gacha stuff is going to be this the costumes uh you can see right there draw costume right and the uh, the premium currency are going to be those crystals um so yeah you can see right there you can draw costumes uh the rates are um 2.4 for five stars which is very very high it's incredibly high and then uh, four stars, uh, 9.7 and 87% for three stars. So basically you just uh, draw these costumes, right? You draw like, I think each costume has like four parts, which is, uh, well, for Doctor Strange, it's gonna be the clog, pants, gloves, and boots. But I'm pretty sure um, for others, it's probably gonna be like helmets or, or stuff like that. Um, but yeah, you have to complete the set. That's why the rates are so high, right? Because you actually have to pull all four of them to complete the set to actually get more uh, buffs. So uh, that's why the rates are so high. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. We also have like cards, cards that give you um, buffs. We'll see that in a little bit. Um, so yeah, you also have to draw them too. Looks like they cost the same as the costume. So we'll have to see how important cards are. But you know, if it's the same as my hero, we know that the support cards actually cost the same as the heroes themselves. So that kind of sucks. But, uh, but yeah, then we have a dimension box. I'm not sure what this actually is uh honestly not mm, no clue but it this is just probably just it, it looks like it's cheaper so it's probably just stuff to upgrade your heroes and stuff uh then we have um perks uh looks like rank up bundles level up bundles um daily perks so yeah this is just pretty standard gacha stuff then we have some bundles consumables tokens and charges so the, oh yeah though so those, that is just the premium currency that you can buy so yeah, uh, pretty standard gacha stuff, honestly. Uh, nothing too surprising there. Uh, then we have, let's see, I'm just clicking buttons and see where it takes me. Um, I've, I've already done much of this. So yeah, this is what I was telling you guys about. Uh, so these are the, the costumes. Um, let me see, how can I customize anything? Uh, yeah, so see, these are the costumes. You can just pick and choose which ones you want to equip. You can, uh, you, you can uh, make them, uh, make your hero looks like a certain way because obviously you just you just mix and match here right like um so if i can equip like something let me let me do something like this see i can equip different pants um that don't actually go with the, with the outfit so i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure that you can actually get the like uh, make your hero look however you want and still get the buffs from sets that you actually you know that aren't actually equipped for you to look like if you know what i mean i i like I don't know how to say it correctly um but yeah here here we go um we have we have these costumes as you can see they just give you uh well actually you can't see it let me see where we can see that uh you know each costume mm, well i don't know <laughs> somewhere somewhere you can probably see that each costume as you get more and more pieces from a specific set it will give you more and more buffs then we have these battle badges um yeah like uh, you i i got them while i was doing the tutorial they were just dropping from enemies so i'm not sure how this is actually going to work they're probably gonna give us give it to us from missions and stuff like that uh this is well this is my inventory right see i can i have a bunch and that's probably just because the enemies were just dropping them i think this is stamina i'm pretty sure hp recovery okay no i was wrong any <laughs> never mind uh <laughs> so uh yeah so that's just the inventory. This is the main thing, right? This is the main hub, basic, or, or the main menu, not the main hub. Uh, the main hub is this, where we are right now. But uh, the main menu, this is it. Uh, here are my heroes, right? I can go to my heroes info. Uh, this is where we were just before. Skills, this is actually pretty interesting. You can actually uh, customize. I'm not sure how everything works yet, but uh, 
you can uh, you can enhance your powers each power individually but you can also equip them to your hero so like you know like the, the the five six seven abilities that you have usually well you can actually change them around like you can see that there are many many different um there are many different uh, uh abilities right there abilities that i don't even have because i need to reach level eight hero these are not at all i'm not actually going to have all of this ability what abilities while i'm playing but i will just have to equip some right and uh that's pretty cool if you ask me honestly i really like that so um it's not going to be the same always the same set of abilities for your hero but you can actually like change them around make different builds that's pretty cool that's, that's a high level of personalization if you ask me for or customization for uh at least for a mobile game right this game is impressive for, like uh just you know for for being mobile it's pretty it's pretty impressive honestly um these are the cards right so uh we are just going to uh collect them you can see that we can draw them like like in, in the gacha system we can draw these cards they also make sets um so so yeah apparently this game's just going to be focused on making sets so um yeah i don't know how how much i like that 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 i feel like that just makes like uh I'm, you know i'm grading your account a little harder than just drawing uh characters i don't know um but yeah uh then we have uh the, um, the the cards you just equip them and you can see that they like this one gives me 1.6 percent attack that's pretty cool you can see right uh, right below there you can see that it says uh one out of four because these are this is the set right so i have to get those other cards um so yeah i'm not sure how much i like this gacha system honestly uh, but we'll see um then we have uh well all of the other stuff i don't actually i don't actually have it unlocked because like i said i just just started with the game then we have my squad's info um this is just basically like my profile you know like um apparently i can up, i can i can upgrade it myself with stuff that's what they said in the tutorial that i that i can upgrade myself by getting the materials and then i just rank up myself instead of just progressing through the story that's what i got at least then we have uh squad power um basically i just pay like uh, gold in order to um upgrade my my like overall power right like my like all of my heroes this would probably be because it's a squad right so so yeah that's pretty cool then we have um uh, then we have well the inventory we already saw then we have uh, headquarters i have everything locked as soon as i unlock more stuff i will make more videos guys don't worry about it then we have re records um i'm sorry about that <laughs> we have uh operations this looks like uh like the the co-op modes looks like to me right like because it says raid there battle challenge special operations it, just because of raid i think that this is co-op because it says raid honestly that's what i think this is arena obviously pvp uh i heard that there are there's a massive mode where you can f actually fight like 10v10 or something like that not sure how true that is but if it if it's true i love that that's awesome then we have alliances which are going to be guilds this is pretty like, again pretty standard for these games at this point um so yeah it looks amazing it really does uh i will make more videos as i unlock more stuff and as i go through the game uh, so i'm gonna try and go and record a little bit of gameplay so that i can show you guys but this this, this is just the, the main hub the main menus and stuff it looks pretty amazing there's a map too um apparently it's an open world you can see right there world map uh not sure what i have to do um uh, oh yeah well i'm going to the world map okay yeah see like wow these are probably all uh, like areas that you can go to and they're probably gonna be like open spaces like like this main hub right you can fly in this game spider-man can actually swing around with his with his webs like amazing this is an amazing game but let's just go into um you know let's just get into a fight and see how it works from there all right guys and we are here uh on the outside <laughs> on the open world in the open world and uh yeah so i've just been playing a little bit of story until they actually let me go outside and um uh, yeah so we're just talking 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 apparently uh ultron is getting corrupt corrupted by king ping um yeah, I'm getting I'm getting in trouble because my recording little little recording there we go. Uh okay. Um so yeah, apparently uh Ultron uh the good Ultron, the, the one controlled by Tony Stark was oh I have to select a reward. Um this one. Yeah. Okay. 
Cool. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, anyways, um, apparently the good Ultron was corrupted by Kingpin, and now we gotta go fight it. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, as much as far as the story goes, uh, it's pretty pretty standard. Oh, I'm actually going the wrong way. Uh, it's pretty standard actually. Um, like pretty standard in the same in the sense of you know this is nothing that we haven't seen before in the comics, right? It's just the Earth. Uh, I don't know if we can see one in the sky, maybe. Uh, no, I don't see any. But yeah, uh, different Earths from different dimension dimensions are colliding, and we just have to stop that. You know, like nothing we haven't seen before. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I chose Doctor Strange to uh, play because um, I really like the character in the movies. I just kind of fell in love with him when uh, uh, I kind of fell in love with him when uh, when he fought uh, Thanos. It looked, <laughs> I don't know, I just really, really liked that that fight. It looked pretty badass. And uh, so yeah, uh, Doctor Strange in game is he's kind of like in in supportish AOE crowd control character. Um, like his auto attacks are actually uh, like AOEs, you can see. Well, not AO AOEs, but they hit multiple enemies, um, as you can see. And his his abilities are also uh, his abilities are actually AOEs. You can look how pretty this game looks, guys. The only thing about this game is that it will melt your battery. But like, yeah, you can see there. Um, he has a bunch of like AOEs. That's an AOE too. Um, so yeah, see more AOEs. Uh, so yeah, he's kind of like a support type of character of sorts um, But yeah, I don't know. He looks pretty cool. But I, I, I don't know um, So yeah, I, I would definitely assume that he's he's kind of like a support sort of, of character. But we'll see what the others look like They do let you play with some of them not all of them, but some of them in the in the tutorial You know when you're first in the introduction when you're start, first starting the game uh, you do get to play with a few of them you don't get to play with all of them. I, I think you get to play with um, Captain Marvel, Captain America, Black Widow. Uh, I think it's and they let you play Doctor Strange too. And uh, I, I don't remember if there was anyone else. Oh, Storm. And uh, and I think that's it. I, I was kind of disappointed that I couldn't play with Spider-Man, honestly. But uh, not really too hyped about him. Um, you know, to play him here, you know, like, I already have a really good Spider-Man game <laughs> in my PlayStation, so, uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, I don't know, that was just the reason why I didn't pick Spider-Man, uh, also, guys, just so you know, there are, like, like the, the different difficulties, I'm just grabbing stuff, I don't know what any of this is, we'll just have to go, uh, along with the game and see, um, so, yeah, we're claiming rewards, now we gotta go talk to Fury, Okay, side, side missions, okay, that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, well, that was a little bit of the gameplay. I don't know why, at the beginning, it was the same thing during the, the like, like the first mission, the first chapter, I guess you could say. Uh, you know, it's, it should, it, like, mobs are pretty, like, pushover. Uh, they're very easy to handle. Um, I guess, I don't know, I don't know. Even the boss at the very end of chapter one was extremely, extremely easy. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't know what's up with that. Um... Hopefully, uh, why is it taking me to her? To I want to talk to him. Okay, there we go. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, this, it doesn't look like we're going to get much more uh, fighting done. Uh, I'm just running errands at this point. But, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little, a li tiny little preview into what the fighting looks like. Um, I will definitely be making more videos if you guys like like this, so please leave a comment, tell me what do you think, Did you, do you like this game, do you want me to do more? Uh, also, yeah, we can, we can fly. It's amazing. I love it. Obviously, there's a, there's a, a, a ceiling, right? There's I can't go higher than this, but, uh, but it's still pretty cool. Um, can I actually go up there? That would be pretty nuts. Oh my god, that is so nuts. I love it. I love it. This game is awesome. I love it. Um, yeah, it looks like I stepped outside of boundaries, though. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, uh, let me know, guys, if you if you like this game. If you want me to cover it more. If you want me to do more videos. I will be sure to. And uh, if you if you guys enjoy, leave a like. Please leave a comment. What do you think? Do you like this game? Are you going to try it? Oh, by the way, if you want to try it, you just have to... Um, either download the vpn if uh, not the vpn what am i saying the the apk if you're on android or just uh, switch your store uh your ios store to canada and then you can download it but to actually play it you actually need a vpn in canada 
So keep, do keep that in mind. Um, that's a little unfortunate, but you know, they will release more and more countries as time goes on. So uh, yeah, please guys let me know and uh, I'll see you on the next one.